Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So a few days ago I started a little sewing project, just as a hobby now, which hopefully one day maybe will turn into something a little bit more, who, who knows? But yeah, I've had a few comments from you guys saying how you miss my sort of productive vlogs. <laughs> so I thought I would share me making this jacket with you guys. I'm making a quilted jacket. Um, which is something I've never done before. Quilting is new to me. But yeah, let me show you what I've done so far. I also have a very sleepy Florence with me. Oh, <laughs> hello. I think Florence has woken up. I've come in here. Yep. Hi, monkey. Do you feel like you're missing out? Oh. So this is what my desk is looking like right now. Her oh boy. It's an organised mess, as always. So over in the corner I have finished um, pieces. So basically I'm using this floral fabric which I bought on eBay. And this one underneath is from C&H in Winchester when I used to live there for uni. And then sandwiched in between is this um, sort of wadding cotton wadding um, and all of the stitching is just done on top and then it's not showing up very well but last night I put a pocket on the front of one of the pieces so this is what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make the other pocket um, and put that on the other side this is the sketch I'm going from sort of that's what we're going for with this jacket and these are the other bits I've got over here so far so I've got another front panel and then the back is all constructed together. So yeah, that is what I'm working on. I haven't done much sewing for quite a while now because I've just really not been feeling motivated at all. This whole summer, I've really just not been myself at all. So yes, I'm glad I'm kind of slowly coming out of that. I've also kind of been trying to adjust to working for myself um, with like the YouTube and Instagram and everything and sewing's taken a bit of a back burner but now I know I definitely love sewing and I want to keep it in my YouTube videos and my Instagram and everything like that because I just think it's such a amazing thing to have learnt how to do and I never want to lose it. I also did a massive, massive fabric shop the other day in Birmingham because it's so cheap up there. So if you want a fabric haul or something like that, let me know if that would be of interest. <laughs> and then this is my little sewing station that I've been working at. So this is the next pocket I'm going to quilt. And then this is the top part of the pocket which I stitch and then turn through and then quilt. So it's got a finished top. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. second patch pocket but I hardly ever do patch pockets and I forgot how to get like a good curve and then I watched a tutorial on YouTube and I remembered so I've just threaded up a needle with a knot at the end and before I press the edges down so I get a nice curve I just do a really loose tack around the bottom curve of this pocket. You can see when I pull it goes into itself and it's so much easier to manipulate when you're ironing and then I'll just chop off a length and do the same on the other side and then you can iron it and sew it onto the front. iron this. So I'll start with the straight sides first so that they can just be 
pressed under. So just straight. And then on the corners, if you just pull this, it'll be much easier to turn it under into a curve and press it down. So that's the curve, and this is without. So now I've got my other pocket ready. I want to make sure it's in the exact same place as the other one is. I'm just going to take that needle off. I do sometimes mark it on my pattern but today I'm just going to flip it upside down and match it up. And then I'm just going to take the other front piece and also match that up on top of the other front piece. So that I have exactly the same position for my pocket. Okay, so that's now pinned on. And I'm just going to check it against the other side. See if it looks pretty even. Cool. So I'm going to go and sew that on. Both pockets are done now, so I'm going to quilt um, the facing and the collar and get that constructed and then it's the sleeves <laughs> it's quite a testing task for me this project because normally it doesn't take me too long to construct something but because I've got to like sew all of the quilting it's taking me forever <laughs> but I really like how it's turning out so far so I'm staying patient I'm just going with It's now late afternoon and I went out on a nice walk with Florrie and I've just finished quilting all of the front pieces so I'm going to show you how I cut them out um, away from the quilting. Um, I basically, this is an example, <laughs> this is a front facing panel so this is what sort of goes, it will sit like this inside and then on a collar if it sits like that, the facing is the bit that shows. And I have this big bit around the side because um, the wadding can shrink when you stitch. So it's best to just have a good safe amount. And also from my pattern pieces, the actual fabric, I cut like maybe an extra one centimeter. Um, and then I'll cut around this 
around here and then I'll um, line my pattern piece back on top and make sure it fits properly. now a few days later and I have finished the jacket. Last thing I have to do is hand sew one of my labels in, which is always like one of my favourite parts of making something when I had my labels printed at uni and I had loads left. So I'm going to put one in this jacket. Let me show you the finished jacket. So here it is, hung up over here right now. Take it off. I'm just going to put it on for you guys so you can see how it fits. So this is how the arms turned out. I tried something a bit different. Don't know how I feel about it, but I kind of like it. I originally wasn't gonna stitch these together, but I just felt like they looked a bit like lobster hands if I didn't do that. And then the collar just looks like this, super oversized. And then at the back, the collar doesn't actually go all the way around. It kind of has another collar at the back and I love the shape at the back of the jacket. I don't know why, but I always love the shape of backs of jackets <laughs> and really making them sort of like curve around. But yeah, really happy with how it's turned out. So yeah, most of it's all quilted in a really short space and then left more room in the spacing of the quilting on the um, sleeves that are a bit more puffy like and also did the same with the collar like that's only got two stitching around the edge and then it opens up um, you can have it open but I feel like I didn't really like it open I quite like it closed up and it just stays there without any fastening so I'm not going to bother putting anything in and then if you want to like loosen it up you can I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in my full length mirror. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. I really enjoyed getting back into sewing. So let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I make like random little items. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.